So for today, we're going to be looking at the second chance gauntlets. Uh, this got asked for in one of the videos. I'll have it right now. But essentially, can you do the second chance gauntlets? And of course, of course, my commenters that I love so much, I will do it for you. So let's talk about the second chance gauntlets. Uh, they're pretty trash. Uh, they're actually that's not fair. There's trash and then there's these. I usually don't talk about the exotics, what they do and whatnot, because this is purely from a fashion standpoint, but if you are ever wondering what they do, I will be more than happy to make a video on it because I do test all these exotics out before I make fashion for them. But yeah, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor and help me sleep at night without crying, a subscription will be very much appreciated. But other than that, let's talk about these terrible gauntlets. So second chance gauntlets. These are these right here. I do apologize that it looks a little weird. It's just that these arms are fucking massive. And at this point, I think I just have to show you guys in actual time, but I will do that later or probably never because I actually like this format a lot more. So as you guys can see, there's a few pieces here that look like they would not be shaderable. Thankfully, whoever designed this is not the same person that usually makes armor that Oh, this piece right here doesn't shader because I I want to leave my handprint there or whatever the fuck. Thank God that person didn't design this because all of it changes color. The cloth on the inside changes color. The pieces on the inside change. Everything changes color. Thank God. So as for how it shaders, again, it shaders really well. I personally love Sato Tribe with it. I know I usually don't start with the Sato Tribe, but I really love Sato Tribe with it. Uh, my personal favorite, again, would be Echoed Anger as well. I think that shader is really cool and it, it it shows it with this armor set. It looks really cool with it. The one that I'm not the biggest fan of is Abyssinian Gold, personally. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It just, I'm not the biggest fan of brown. So, yeah, again, shaders really well. It looks really cool. Unfortunately, the exotic is just such trash. Uh, but, yeah, let's talk about the first example set. So, before we talk about the example set, please, I apologize that I'm going to use this mark again, but technically, technically, this armor set did come out first. And when I, what I mean by that is I've already done a video for this armor set. It was in the new exotics armor. I'll have it in the, I'll have it pinned right now so you guys can see it if you guys want. But essentially that video was all of the new armor we got from this season. I made fashion around all of them. And I really like that video because a lot of them look really cool. So if you haven't seen that again, pause this video, watch that one, give it a like, subscribe to that video, and then come back here and do all of that again because I deserve it and you love me. So this is the armor set. It's literally one of my favorite looks that I've ever made because I'm using pieces I never thought I would use. So let's talk about the Desolation Diver helmet. This is one of my favorite helmets in the game for Titans. It just looks really cool, especially if you're going for a void look for the chest piece where you're you're using Shadow's Plate. So Shadow's Plate is from Crown of Sorrow. If you guys don't know, it's a pretty old raid. It's probably one of the better raids. Some people might say the best raid. I would say no, just me, but I love love this chest piece because i never thought in a million years we would get a shader that goes so well with this chest piece and thank god we did for the boots we're using greaves of roll which is from leviathan which is also a cabal raid and it's one of my favorites too and then last but not least tusk allegiance mark i know i've used this three times in three videos i used it for eternal warrior and i used it for uh lorelei splendor but if you guys haven't noticed, this is heavy Cabal themed uh, because Tusk of Legions is from a Cabal season. Uh, the leg pieces, Greaves of Roll, is from a Cabal raid. Same thing with Shadow's Plate. It is from a Cabal raid, technically. Not even technically, it is from Cabal raid. And then, well, there's Hive in it, but the armor set is Cabal. Uh, Laurel, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then the helmet's the only piece that doesn't look or isn't Cabal, but I feel like it does look Cabal. So this is one of my favorite armor sets I've made for the Titan. The only problem, and you guys may have noticed it, the only problem I have with this is that if you see from the side of the armor set, you can see that the, <laughs> the Tusk Allegiance mark goes out so much more than it should. So that's the only problem I have with this armor set, because when you see that, you can't unsee it, and then you always see it. 
so you know other than that this armor set slaps uh, i highly recommend people to do this it doesn't even have to be this arm you can do and literally anything with with it because it just looks so good it could be any other arm is what i was trying to say there i don't know what what happened there so yeah let me know what you guys think definitely one of my favorite sets that i made for the titan because again it just looks so cool uh the next one is gonna be a one that i just kind of made rapid fire uh for my longtime viewers you guys will see that i'm using pieces that are kind of like old reliables for me so we're for the helmet we're using meridian constellation helm this is one of my favorite helmets in the game and i wanted to pair this with the with the mark because we're using the virtuous mark which has purple the purple feathers never change color which kind of annoy me but if you lean into it you can make some really cool stuff like this one right here the legs we're using the Jensen Night Greaves because this is one I usually pair the Virtuous Mark with the Jensen Night Greaves because I love that the Virtuous Mark gives the Jensen Knight a crotch plate and I usually just love the texture of the boots with this mark. Uh, for the chest piece we're using Devastation Complex, definitely one of my favorite chest pieces in the game. It, it, it actually is my favorite chess piece in the game for Titans, and I technically vetoed myself from using this chess piece in future videos, but I thought this just looked so cool that I was like, fuck that veto, I'm doing it anyways. And for the shader, we're using poly polycarbon powder. So the only problem with this shader is the fact that if you're not careful, you will actually have orange in it. As you guys can see very closely, hopefully I can really show you guys inside the actual arms the under armor is actually orange so just be careful if you're using the polycarbon powder uh there's other shaders you can use i personally love how perguzzi and knight looks with it as you guys can see right now it looks really cool it is a lot of purple though so if you're not like if you like the reason i use polycarbon powder is because for this i thought perguzzi knight was too much purple but again if you're not bothered by that Berguzzi and Knight's really good with it another purple that's really good but it's also a lot would be the Nebula Rose this is a really good purple to use my only gripe with it is too shiny and the crystal for Meridian Constellation is not purple so there are a lot of purples you can use Callus is selected is a pretty good one too because it does have purple but it doesn't have purple in, in this specific set because the purple is the off color apparently uh Callus is treasured is also one but I personally wouldn't use that one Again, there's a lot of purples you could use, and I just like the one that I used because it looks really good, and the orange is very, like, it's not noticeable. So for me, I was, it was an easy dub. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about Second Chance in the comments below. I love this exotic look-wise. The actual exotic is terrible. It's trash. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, why does he keep saying it's trash? What does it do? It just gives you a second shield throw, and you can take down uh, barrier champions. And some people are like, wow, that sounds kind of useful. Why is it trash? Because in harder content, it doesn't take the shield down completely. You still have to like throw two shields. And if you're doing hard content, two shields is too expensive. If it was one, it would kind of be useful, useful, but at the same time, it would still be useless because there's other better exotics out there for GMs and whatnot. And I'm not even talking about GMs. Like this is just universal. Like anything that has a shield, an overshield champion, or overshield anything that has a barrier championing literally anything is better than this so i wouldn't recommend it because it's trash even the second sh uh, shield throw is terrible so again i usually don't review exotics but just to give you a short short explanation as to why it's a trash bag so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media let's links are in the description below again if you guys want to see a certain specific exotic or armor set that you want me to use or if you have a theme in mind that you think I would actually do a really good job with, let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to make the, these videos for you because uh, now that we're done with this exotic, I still have, let me see. Uh, we still have Vesper of Radius, which I'm going to do right now. Verity's, Verity's Brow, Syntho-Seps, Lucky Pants, Path of the Burning Steps, and No Backup Plan. Which reminds me, I have to buy the No Backup Plans ornament because it looks pretty cool. So again, I have a lot of work to do today and I'm going to be doing all of these videos, hopefully this week and next week. And if you want to see your video up, let me know in the comments below again. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.